What is going on guys? It's CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to emulate Sega Saturn using Manafin. Now if you've never messed around with Manafin, this is a multi-system emulator without a GUI or a GUI, whatever you want to call it. This will emulate Atari Lynx, Neo Geo Pocket, Wonderswan, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, Virtual Boy, PC Engine, TurboGrafx-16, Super Graphics, PC FX, Sega Game Gear, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, Sega Saturn, and PlayStation 1. It works really well for Sega Saturn. There's been a lot of talk about Saturn emulation the past few weeks because the pre-orders for the Polymega went live. All the information that I've gathered and people have told me, the Polymega is using Manafin for Sega Saturn emulation and the other systems that it emulates. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's pretty easy to do. Like I mentioned, it doesn't have a GUI. Normally, you just drag and drop your games onto Manafin EXE and they start playing after you get it set up. But what I've done is actually add it to LaunchBox. You can add this to Hyperspin, a track mode, whatever you want. But this video here is just showing you how to set it up and get Manafin running straight on your desktop. So the first thing I suggest doing is reading through the documentation. If you don't want to watch this video but you still want to set this up with Sega Saturn, read this documentation here and it'll tell you everything you need to know. The main thing that we need to worry about here is Sega Saturn BIOSes. We're going to need two specific BIOSes, Sega underscore 101.bin and MPR 17933 .ben. I can't tell you where to get these, but if you do a quick Google search, I'm sure you can find it. They also have the checksum here, so if you want to check it against the one you download to make sure it's the correct one, you can use this. So let's go ahead and download Manafin. I'm going to be using the 64-bit version for Windows here. It's going to download pretty quick. I've already placed it in a folder on my desktop along with my BIOSes. MPR17933.bin and Sega underscore 101.bin. These are very important. We're just going to extract Manafin. It's going to look something like this. I'm going to snap it over to the right hand side and we want to start it up one time. It's not going to do anything. It will give us an error, but it's going to create more folders and files inside of here. As for our BIOSes, we're going to go ahead and grab those and we're going to place them in the firmware folder. This is where I put mine. I know they can go in the root directory, but I set them in the firmware folder and they work fine. So we can actually start a game up right now. My games are located here on my desktop in a folder called Saturn Games. I have them extracted. They are bin and Q. So here's Astral. I have a bin file and a Q file. Again, I can't leave links to these, but they're online. Everything you need is there. Just search Sega Saturn bin and Q files. Let's go ahead and start up a game. We'll do Virtua Fighter Remix. I'm going to take the Q file, drag it right on top of the Manafin application. The game's now running. But we have no control over it. We need to set up our controller, and obviously, we're in window mode. If you want to go full screen, press Alt, Enter on your keyboard. If we exit now that we're in full screen, every time we start a game, it will go back to full screen for us. So if you want to exit here, press Escape. I'm just going to drag this back on top. It's going to go full screen. There's a few other settings we can mess around with in here. Press F1 on your keyboard. It'll bring up the default key assignments. Toggle help for F1. Just read through the list. If you want to save, press F5. If you want to load, press F7. I'm going to press F1 again to remove that screen. And now it's time to set up our controller. So I'm going to press Alt Shift 1. At the very bottom, you can see digital game pad. You have to press each button twice. So up on my D-pad, once, twice. Down, left, right, start, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, left shoulder, right shoulder. So this game didn't ask me to do it, but you might be prompted to set up an analog stick and a mode button. So just set up your analog stick like we just did with the D-pad 
And as for the mode button, what I usually do is use like L3 or R3 that's just pressing down on an analog stick to change the mode. The configuration is finished. Press start on your controller and you can start playing the game. It's that easy. I'm going to go ahead and exit. You now have Manafin set up. There are some GUIs or GUIs out there that'll allow you to easily organize your games and things like that, but you can always run them just like this. We'll go with one more. I'm gonna go with Sega Rally. I'm just gonna drag it right on top. It's gonna to start full screen. My controller's already set up because we set it up in the last game. Sega Rally Championship. I'm now playing the Saturn version of Sega Rally and a Sega Saturn emulator. So what I like to do is set up my Manafin and then configure it in launch box or big box. I'm just going to go to big box. And here's all my games. I'm just going to go ahead and start dead or alive real quick from here. Play. It's gonna launch it, full screen, controller set up. I'm playing Sega Saturn. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you have it up and running. Most important thing here are those BIOSes. MPR17933.ben and Sega underscore 101.ben. If you have the correct ones, you can launch Sega Saturn games. If you're interested in setting up LaunchBox with something like this, I do have a tutorial coming up in the next few days on LaunchBox's official YouTube channel. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.